Hey everyone, welcome back to Fuzzy Logic Lectures. In the last few videos of this series, we learned about the various ways of fuzzification. That is, how to develop a membership function. Continuing from that, we will learn about various features of membership function in this lecture. Mainly, we will learn about the vocabulary of terms like core, support, boundary, normal and convex fuzzy sets, and finally crossover points. So let's start our lecture. First, we will learn about core. For that, let us consider a fuzzy set A with a membership function as shown here. Then, the core comprises of those elements EX in the universe such that the membership value of EX in the fuzzy set A is equal to 1. If you see in this graph, for this region, the membership value is equal to 1. So, this region is called core. Next, let us learn about support. The support comprises of those elements X of the universe such that membership value of X in the fuzzy set A is greater than 0. In this graph, you can see that for this entire region, the membership value is greater than 0. So, this region is called support. Moving on to the next terminology, we have boundary. Boundaries comprises of those elements X of the universe such that the membership value of X in the fuzzy set A is greater than 0 but less than 1. In this graph, we can represent these two regions as boundaries as they have partial membership values here. So, boundaries are these two regions. Now, let's learn about normal fuzzy set. A normal fuzzy set is a fuzzy set whose membership function has at least one element x whose membership value is unity. So, all these graphs represent normal fuzzy sets as all these have at least one element x where the membership value is 1. Also, if you see in the case of this graph, there is one and only one element whose membership value is equal to 1. Then, this element, let us call it as x1, is called as the prototype of the set or the prototypical element. That is, x1 is the prototype of set A or the prototypical element. Now, any fuzzy set which is not a normal fuzzy set is called a subnormal fuzzy set. This is an example of a subnormal fuzzy set as it does not have a single element whose membership value is unity. Next, we will learn about convex fuzzy sets. If for any element x, y and z in a fuzzy set A, the relationship x less than y less than z implies that the membership value of y in fuzzy set A is greater than or equal to minimum of the membership value of x in A and the membership value of z in A, then fuzzy set A is said to be a convex fuzzy set. In simple words, we can say that a convex fuzzy set is described by a membership function whose membership values are strictly monotonically increasing or are strictly monotonically decreasing or whose membership values are strictly monotonically increasing then strictly monotonically decreasing with increasing values for elements in the universe. Moving on to the next vocabulary, we have crossover points. Crossover points are defined as elements in the universe for which a particular fuzzy set A has membership values equal to 
that is crossover points is equal to x such that membership value of x in the fuzzy set A is equal to 0.5. For example, in this graph there are four crossover points A, B, C and D as mu A of x is equal to mu B of x is equal to mu C of x equal to mu D of x is equal to 0.5. Next, we will learn about height. The height of a fuzzy set A is the maximum value of the membership function. That is, height of A is equal to maximum of mu A of x. Using this terminology, we can give another definition for the subnormal fuzzy set which we learned earlier. We can define a subnormal fuzzy set as a fuzzy set whose height is less than unity. Now that we learned all the terminologies, let us see an example to revise what we studied in this lecture. For the given fuzzy set A, define whether it is a normal or subnormal set, convex or non-convex fuzzy set, and also identify core, boundary, support, crossover points, and height. Coming to the first question, we know that a normal fuzzy set is that set which has at least one element with membership value equal to unity. In this graph, we can see that here as well as in this region, membership value is equal to 1. So, this is a normal fuzzy set. So, the answer is normal fuzzy set. As to whether it is a convex or non-convex fuzzy set, let us rewind the definition of a convex fuzzy set. For any element x, y and z in a fuzzy set A such that x less than y less than z and mu a of y greater than or equal to minimum of mu a of x and mu a of z then fuzzy set A is called a convex fuzzy set. But in this case, if you consider x, y and z like this, then you can see that mu A of y is less than both mu A of x and mu A of z. That is, this condition is violated. Hence, this is a non-convex fuzzy set. Another easy way to conclude this is by looking at the other definition of convex fuzzy set that is strictly monotonically increasing, strictly monotonically decreasing or strictly monotonically increasing and then strictly monotonically decreasing. As you can see, none of these conditions are valid here. Hence, this is a non-convex fuzzy set. Coming to the next part of the question, we need to identify core. By definition, core is the set of elements for which membership value is equal to 1. In this graph, it is this point and this region. Hence, core is equal to set of elements 2 and elements in the range of 6 to 8 including 6 and 8. Here, please note that I have used closed brackets to indicate that element 6 and 8 is also included in the core. Next, boundaries. Boundaries are elements for which membership values are between 0 and 1. In this graph, they are these regions. So, boundaries is equal to set of 0 to 2, 2 to 6 and 8 to 10. Please note that I have used open brackets here so that 2 is not a member of this set. 
This is because element 2 has a membership value of unity and boundary by definition does not include elements whose membership values are 0 or 1. This is also the reason for open brackets here for 0, 6, 8 and 10. I hope you understood this clearly. Next we have support. Support is the set of elements whose membership value is greater than 0. So here all the elements between 0 and 10 are support. Therefore support is equal to elements from 0 to 10. Now coming to crossover points. If we draw a line through mu a of x equal to 0.5 parallel to the x axis, we will get all the crossover points. Here the crossover points are 1, 4, 5.33 and 9. Now lastly the height of a fuzzy set is the maximum membership value in the fuzzy set which in this case is 1. Therefore height of fuzzy set A is equal to 1. Let us see one more example. In this question let us first check if this is a convex or non-convex fuzzy set. If you see the membership value is monotonically increasing and then strictly monotonically decreasing. Hence this is a convex fuzzy set. Or alternatively if you take any element x, y and z such that x less than y less than z we can see that mu a of y is greater than or equal to minimum of mu a of x mu a of x and mu a of z. If you plug in the actual values mu a of y is equal to 1 mu a of x is somewhere in the range of 0.55 so 0.55 and mu a of z is equal to again 1. So minimum of 0.55 and 1 is 0.55 and we will get that 1 is greater than or equal to 0.55. Hence the condition for convex fuzzy set is satisfied. Okay. Now I will leave the rest of the questions as homework for you. Please comment your answers in the comment section so that it will be useful for others also. That's all for this lecture. In the next video, we will learn about defalsification to crisp sets. If you have any doubts in this lecture, please feel free to ask them in the comments. Either me or some other viewer will surely help you out. Also, if you found this lecture useful, please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching properly and have a great day.